Good afternoon, comrades. And this is the Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries. And today we have another uh, quest mission. Defend the honor. Most definitely we are going to defend the honor as a comrade Stalin intended. For this mission I will be using uh, the uh, Atlas Mech uh, A7-K. With the most damage firepower possible which is a 101 and the armor rating is 480 for this i'll be using the tier 5 pps the another er pps and the tier 5 longbow doombot mm. also i will be using some ac20 burst fire which has a uh, total damage of 28.8 so which brings my total damage to 101 Accompanying me on this mission would be a Stalker with a firepower of 96.7 and the armor of 432 and another Atlas. I'm not particularly a very fan of the Atlas Max, I mean they are big, they, are, they have a big silhouette and not very good armor on that part. However, since I'm Russian I have, not, uh, I have nothing to fear. Because Comrade Stalin has instructed me that this mission will go very good on our part. So, aha. Uh -huh. So that coward is hiding in the uh, underground network, and therefore we need to destroy him with uh, the most prejudice. Yes, yes, that we will do. Okay, so all I have to do is to get to that point. Let's see if my weapon are working. Yes, yes. All of my weapons are working uh, just fine. Okay, so they're handling the all. Oh, if you're gonna handle your own affairs, well, goodbye, good night, and thanks and thanks for playing. Well, hmm. it seems like we cannot leave just yet. We have to destroy these bad uh, mechs that have been attacking this base. Okay, let me put some more rockets into that low cost. By the way, those rockets are upgraded to tier 5. So, I have nothing to fear that I will be bringing these mechs down with the most extreme prejudice. And I'm already getting hit and I don't like it. Here, have some P PPCs, huh? Ay, 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 ay. Come on now, come on. Fire on the enemy mechs. Oh! I just had to miss the dual PPS on that cicada. Now, cicada is a very, very nasty mechs to deal with. But, with this firepower, I have no doubt that I will bring all the enemies of the Soviet Union to justice. Hmm. Okay, so. We have one more mech somewhere that is uh, hiding. Ah, you coward. Ah. Here, have some AC-20, huh? Have some two PPCs, and down he goes. Mm. Looks like I really have the Comrade Stalin blessing on this mission here. Now. Okay. All right, we have a small tank over there. Uh, let's bring it down. Huh? Mm. It's not down yet. Hmm. Target is destroyed. So now, all I have to worry about is the enemy max that might appear. So let's see, the uh, 10 enemies have been dealt with, and I have 13 more to go. Now that is a Thunderbolt, which is a um, pretty versatile mech to deal with. I mean, it's got uh, missiles on board, it's got all kinds of weaponry that makes him a really, really versatile and very, very dangerous adversary. However, fear not, since we have the Russian power on our side, I have nothing to fear about. Okay, let's see, another cicada. How would I... Uh, okay, enemy bottleneck is destroyed. Just like I said, nobody, nobody can match the awesome Russian power. Okay, let me fire some more AC-20 on this mech and some more PPCs and look at him, he's already down. Well, almost. 
I'm almost down, that is. Alright, just show me your side, show me your side. Yes! Down he goes! Just like I said, comrades. We have nothing to fear about. And already all the enemies have been eliminated. Well, as far as this this wave of enemies goes. And all, and all I have to do now is really to wait for some more enemies to arrive. Some more enemies for me to kill. Uh, okay, we're gonna stay frosty. Uh, although, uh, me personally, I really like to stay warm. Since it's very cold in the Gulag. Okay, so we have a Hunchback. We have a Flea and Cicada. Which uh, shouldn't be really a, a big problem. So now, let's see. Cicada is first. Uh, let's see if I can hit it, hit it some more time. Alright, got some dual PVCs, my friend. Okay, wait a minute. Right. Oh, you tricky bastard. Here, have some PPCs. Alright. I keep on missing him, and I don't like it. Alright, that went right into here. And... Down he goes. Like I said, nobody can even hold a candle to the Russian power. Okay, so let's see. This cicada is almost down. Ay, 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 oh, blyate. I missed with my AC shot. Okay, let's see. Ah, that was a good hit. And two PPCs. And he is almost down. Ay. Come on. Yep. All right. Hmm. Looks like he wants to dance. Okay. Uh, damage to my mech is minimal, however, uh, it does say that my right leg uh, doesn't uh, do very good, uh, but um, that's okay. I have nothing to fear. Okay, we have an uber mech, which, you know what, is not really hard to deal with, it is really easy to hit, just because of its uh, proportions. Alright. Down goes another enemy of the Soviet Union. Hmm. So 19 enemies have been down so far. We have... Ah, we have a heavy gunship and I really need to bring that bastard down. Yes, he is down now. So, 22 enemies down, 33 more to go. So that means that I have... Uh, Yes, that I have um, about uh, 10 more enemies to deal with. Okay, let's see. Beehive, huh? I don't know what are you talking about. Oh, shit. Here comes the heavy guys. We have Quick Draw, we have Orion, we have... Oh, we have all kinds of heavy mechs here. But... I must not fear not one bit. Since... The heavy Russian power is on my side. Yes. All right, that heavy draw is almost out of commission. All right, guys, come on. Come on, just keep on hitting this heavy draw. Yes. Okay, we have a stalker here, but doesn't matter how much armor that stalker has, because... Ay, damn it. I am keep on getting hit and I need to get out of here. Alright, let's fire one more burst into the stalker and have him some longbow missiles here. Come on guys, come on, help me out, help me out. The Russian power means that you have to work together in order to bring down the enemies of the Soviet Union. Now, this enemy of the Soviet Union is down on the ground. Now, we have only one Orion to deal with. Now. Orions are really not hard to deal with. I mean, they are big, they are bulky, they don't really carry a whole lot of heavy weapon on board. I mean, again, depends on the model. Come on, just turn around, turn around. Yes, yes, very good, very good, yes. <laughs> like I said before, nobody can even start to think uh, to defeat the awesome Russian power. Now, so this enemy 
wave have been killed, please. Now we have a last batch of enemies and we have three more mechs. So we have catapult, which is... Uh, I hate dealing with that catapult mechs just because of the... Uh, because of the nasty missiles that that catapult has on board and I don't like to get hit with any missiles. Okay, so that catapult is almost out of commission. All I gotta do is to put some more target on it. Yes, yes, I am taking them guys down. Alright, as long as I don't get hit in my AI counterparts. Well, I mean, I don't really like for my AI ca counterparts to get hit, however... Alright, hostile mech is destroyed now. So, let's see. We have another cicada here, which shouldn't be much trouble. Yes, yes, uh, I know that damage to the facility is minor, so I really have nothing to worry about and I continue on doing my job as of destroying the enemies of the Soviet Union. Now, the Centurion there is really trying to start any problems, but have some dual PPCs, my friend, and, okay, can you please move out of my in front of my cannon. All right, now that Centurion is almost down. And down it goes. Mm. Just like I mentioned, nobody can even start to begin to sink to defeat the awesome Russian power. So I have two more enemies to deal with and this mission will be over. Okay, let me just get a good look onto this tank. Well, actually, never mind. Okay, one more tank. One more tank is down. All right. Mm. It looks like that one of my AI counterpart mechs have, have sustained a little bit of damage. Uh, but I'm not too worried about it uh, since I can easily replace those weapons okay now let's see what do i want to pick up from this battlefield mm, master lasers yes they are very hard to find especially in upgraded ones to tier 3 okay let's see what else do we have what else do we have heating CLRM ammo uh, yeah i don't really want much of this okay let's see what kind of damage uh, have my AI counterpart sustained. So let's see. Uh, the SRM-6 have been knocked out and the large laser have been knocked out and all kinds of crap. Mm. That doesn't really make me very happy. However, I can easily replace all of these components that have been lost. So let's see. Large uh lp laser yes uh most definitely i will put that on there now i need to replace the uh, srm6 i do have a very good one i mean i can't put the artemis but then the artemis will require the artemis ammo and i'm not very a fan of the uh, artemis really the addition artemis all it means that your missiles will be launched at a better trajectory and that really all all it is okay so let me put some more lasers into this let me replace these lasers with uh, better lasers yes okay so let me repair my little guy and repair my main mech here and we are good to go well besides besides this one hmm let's see why is this uh, saying under tonnage when I have... Oh, okay, okay, because of the the LRM-10. Hmm, LRM-10 is missing, huh? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, the 12, the one is 15. Mm, how about this? Mm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. And maybe I can put, uh, let's see, so that maximum, that maximum. Yes, I'll definitely put more armor onto this friend. Okay, so 
Now defend, defend the honor. The first part of this quest have been completed. Now I have to go on to the Maurupi Pur. Maurupi Pur, Maurupi Pur. Uh, well, point being that I have to go to that location in order to complete my quest and to once more to prove that the Russian power cannot be defeated. Now this mission does make me feel a bit nervous because this is a war zone and the difficulty of 70. But fear not. All of my mechs have been outfitted to their maximum. Hmm. Now Gauss and... You know what? Let me change something uh, really quick in my own mech. Let's see instead of this AC-20 how about I put uh, let's see where is it yes here it is mm. comrade Stalin would be very pleased now all I need to do is to put some Gauss ammo uh, huh yes mm, it does kind of bring down my firepower uh? and I only have let's see 26 26 that's 40 40 something of the uh, hmm Okay, well, for the sake of this video, I want to show what can is really Gauss a an OP weapon as it portrayed to be. Me personally, I would really outfit my Atlas that I am going to be piloting with the AC-20 BF that has a damage over 27 points as opposed to this Gauss here that is of course upgraded to the tier 4 and has damage of 18.75 which is less and that is kind of um that really doesn't make me happy about it however let's see is the gauss rifle is is as good as it portraying to be which i do get it why the Gauss rifle is maybe OP just because of the uh, range that it provides. However, I mean, 27 versus 18, mm, you know, it doesn't, it's, it's not really seems like a very good, awesome Russian power uh, as far as myself is concerned. However, however. Why the AC cannon burst fire is has so much power is because it does fire a burst of five, seven, or uh, five, six, or seven shots. Now, in order for all that damage to be put right onto your enemy, you do have to hit most of those shots. Now, if you miss, or uh, let's say your enemy gets hit only with two or three shots then you're not really uh, doing that much damage after all okay so that weapon is mostly designed to for close quarters and medium range now the gauss rifle is more for medium to far range and i do get that i have no problem with that whatsoever now there is a um and uh, not an understanding but a miss that going around that a uh, Gauss rifle is an OP weapon. Me personally, I don't really think so. However, we shall see. Okay, hold on, hold on. So they're on the other end of this uh, structure. So since I'm running this with the Gauss rifle, I really need to. Hmm, I really need to have my distance. Yes, 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 sure, sure. Oh, all right. Wow, look at that. And that Centurion already dark orange. With just one shot of the Gauss rifle. Okay, okay, so far I like this. Okay, let's see. Another shot into his back. But it doesn't really bring too much damage to him. All right, another shot into his back. And his back is already dark orange. So, have some two PPCs, my friend, and another Gauss rifle. And down he goes. Hmm. You know what? I'm starting to like this Gauss rifle, huh? 
Now, of course, Gauss rifle fires a projectile that traveling at a very, very hard, uh, at a very, very fast speed. So, therefore, you really need to place your shots very, very carefully and be able to hit your enemies. Now, with dual PPCs, I have just hit that cicada and that cicada is down for good duck. Okay, so perhaps a Gauss rifle coupling with a uh, dual DPCs probably would be a very good idea. Okay, so let's see if I can hit this rifle neck one more time. Down it goes. So that took what, like two shots with, with the Gauss rifle and two shots of a PPC, which brings the total amount of hits to six. All right, so this Centurion is almost out of commission. Auf Wiedersehen. Hi, guys, please, can you take out that helicopter already? All right. Hmm. You know what? I am really starting to think that uh, this Gauss rifle is really an OP, yes. I mean, I have not seen that kind of damage output with a... I with an AC burst fire cannon. Now, I have just been hit with this Warhammer, but let's see if I can hit his torso one more time. Okay, his torso is already done. Hey! Hey! What are you doing here, huh? Get out, uh, out of my sight. I said get out of here. I now he starts to run around and cause me all kinds of problems. And I don't like problems. Alright, so let's see if I can bring this Warhammer. And Warhammer goes down. Again. A Gauss rifle is an OP weapon, however. If you manage to hit your enemy in the same location a couple of times, let's say two, three times, or maybe four times, however, uh, as far as uh, so far. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, okay, my left arm is almost gone. However, it is still functioning, so I am hoping to keep my left arm. Alright, now. Oh shit! Guys, can you please help me out here? Help me out. Just help me out, Yemet. All right, I don't know if my arm is still functioning or not, where my Gauss rifle sits, but let's see. Okay, so half of this Warhammer is already being destroyed. So now, another shot from the Gauss rifle brings him down for good. All right, this tribuchet has nothing to threaten me with, nothing. Mm, but he is being smart, he is hiding behind the wall. And Russian comrades don't like cowards. Alright, we have a Phoenix here. We have some dual PPCs and some Gauss rifle. Alright, another Gauss rifle and somehow he is not down yet. I He's still up. I cannot believe that. Alright, and down he goes. Like I mentioned before, nothing can surpass the, the awesome Russian power. So, hostile are escalating, huh? Hmm, we'll see about that. Alright, let's see, we have an Orion here. Here, have some Gauss rifle, have some PPCs, and already he is red. Let's see if I can send some longbow missiles down his way. Please, can you not stand right in front of my cannons, huh? All right, we have Cicada here. Let's let Cicada have a dual PPC. And... Ay, 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 ay. All right, down it goes. Like I mentioned before, nothing can stand with awesome Russian power. Now, this Orion, if I can just hit him in the right spot... And down he goes again. Hmm. I have a feeling that Comrade Stalin will be very, very pleased with this outcome. Now we have a quick throw here. So let me just aim. If this bastard would just go out of my way. Okay, yes. Okay, so his leg is almost down. 
I have only one PPC left and I do not like this and down he goes okay so as you have witnessed nothing can defeat the Russian power even if one weapon is destroyed still enemies have nothing nothing at all that they can uh, counter put the awesome Russian power now I can stay for a little bit longer however I do not wish to do so because I just would like to finish this mission as fast as I can so therefore I would go to my transport that will take me straight to comrade Stalin that will congratulate me on another victory mm, cannot wait for this to happen and and hopefully he will not send me to gulag but <clears throat> I am almost at the transport uh, let's see and I have an extra 24 uh, excuse me 25,000 sea bills okay okay come on come on just follow me good 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 just go behind me and everything will be tip top okay so where is my transport uh, come on transport what what's up Okay, I am, but, uh, what, what, what's good? Okay. Right oh, disabled. all right. Hmm. Right, I'm disabled. So what? Okay. So now, I have completed this mission. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do I, oh, a PPC. The up, all the way upgrade, the large laser. Uh, let's see, let's see. What else do I want from this battlefield? Unfortunately, no heat sinks or well i mean there are some heat sinks but there are no double heat sinks so that's okay and as you just saw the awesome russian power cannot be defeated whatsoever now i did get my heat sinks well actually my heat sinks could be repaired but one of my er ppcs have been destroyed but that's okay i can easily replace this and and hmm, and act like that nothing ever happened to my mech let's see so let me re repair it let me repair my spider uh let's see hmm, medium laser destroyed well that's okay i will take care of you little buddy so now all of my mechs are at the tip top shape however this stalker is still getting his stuff destroyed and i don't know why does that happening so let's see let me replace this laser let me replace this lrm ammo okay where is the lrm ammo yes there it is and he is again in the tip top shape now we have a third part of the mission that we need to take care of let's see if this has any any new equipment now every time you do a mission you may choose to stay and continue let's say the like just now the uh, the third part of this mission or you can go to one of the uh, industrial circle and see if they have anything new but so far they really don't have anything that I want mm, oh a ERP PC I most definitely buy that just in case if my another of my ERP PC will get destroyed so the third part of this mission and this is an assassination contract which is going to be just extremely easy well not really very easy but it's not going to be as hard since all I need to do is just to find one two or three targets that I need to put down so however the uh, trick in this mission is that i do have to travel from nav point to nav point and to find my target okay let's see damage coverage all right and again the deploying weight is 315 difficulty is 70 and all of my mechs are ready to go now let's see uh let me just check okay so one of my friendly Atlas's A7-K has mm, about the same 
uh, weaponry as I do. However, let's see. So he has these two MP lasers that I will happily replace these. Hmm. Oh, actually, I do. Okay. So, let me replace with these two lasers. Hmm. Okay, so maybe those MP lasers... Uh, well, actually, yes. So, these lasers have 525 and these have 6. So, uh, okay. Fine, fine, fine. Just just leave it the way, the way it is. Alright, we are at 100% percent we are ready to launch... And once again, ready to prove that nothing can stand before Stalin and the awesome Russian power. Okay. So, again, this is going to be an assault mission. And I don't really have much to worry about. Since I have a fantastic crew that's going to run with me. And with an awesome Russian power, I have nothing to fear about. Okay, uh, hmm. Hmm, only two nav points. Well, that is really, really convenient. Alright, I do have an, an enemy mech over there on my side. Here! Ah, That's an awesome! Have some more of the Gauss rifle. Come on, come on, recharge! I we need to bring him down as soon as possible. Come on. Down he goes. Like I was seeing before, there is nothing to fear. I can easily take down all of these mechs and not even feel a scratch. Well, besides these missiles here. Well, actually, hmm, I do have an, a special system that shoots down the missiles. So... And since the Atlas is more of a, a medium to far range combat mech, this will prove to be a very, very easy mission. So, let's see, this hunchback is almost down. Now, all I have to do is just to find a nice place where I can hit him this one more time. This cicada is uh, really asking for it, huh? Aye. All right, come on, come on, come on. Ah, missed him. Damn it! Alright, how about dual PPS? Yes, I managed to shut off one of his weapons. Another hit from Gauss rifle, and he is down for good dumb. Okay, so this hunchback is really playing it smart. But that's okay. I can take him down all by myself. Okay. All right, his left shoulder is gone, his right shoulder is gone. I do not understand how he's still up, and down he goes. Hmm, just as easy as that. Okay. The conspirators are dead. Good, very good. Good, 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 good. Yes, yes, yes. That will definitely make Comrade Stalin pleased. Now all I gotta do is to get out of here without taking any more damage. Now, it's not like that I'm hiding, it's just that I really want to finish this conquest mission and be done with it and reap the rewards. Yes, I do enjoy reaping the rewards. Okay, our transport is already here, but we are keep on getting followed by that pesky Ay, 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 ay. Damn it. My spider is completely down. Alright, therefore we do need to get out of here. But you know what? Ay. That son of a bitch destroyed one of my friends. And therefore he cannot be left alive. No. I need to bring it down. Ah, down you go, bastard. All right. Now, I am more than satisfied, and let's get out of here. 
Hmm, there are many enemies, but as soon as I will get to this transport, this mission will, will be over. And that's it. And that's how you do a Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries Conquest mission with an awesome Russian power. Okay, so this mission should be now complete. Okay, let's see what do... Oh, mm, most definitely I will take this PPS here. Small laser. Yes, I surely need that. Let's see what else can I take. Well, nothing really else that interests me. Now, I have completed defending the Honor Conquest mission and I shall claim all of these equipments. Now, my spider did get completely destroyed. However, I will simply repair it, replace its damaged weapons or destroyed weapons, and it will be like brand new. Again, comrades, this was Zone Trooper, and this was another episode of Mech Warrior 5. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a nice day.